Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. My name is Phil, and at the time of recording this, I've lived afloat aboard my narrowboat for nearly 34 years. I share my home with my two cats, Bushka and Midge, and we spend our days travelling around the canal system and making videos. This video continues from where the last one left off, about halfway through my trip. I've just come out of Somerton Deep Lock, and in this video we'll go through Somerton and then on as far as Haythard Common Lock. I'm on the Oxford Canal. And at the end of this video, there will be cats. This is the type of weather that I like. It was recorded in October. It's bright and sunny, but not too hot and not windy. The village of Somerton is to the left of this bridge. There's not really much reason to go up there, I'm afraid, because there's no pub, there's no shop, possibly a bus stop if you're lucky, but that's about it. It's not very good for mooring here. Most boaters tend to stop on the other side of the bridge, a good way on, but you'll see in a minute there's lots of good mooring on there.
these are private moorings. The good visitor moorings are a good way on from here, over onto the right of the screen. I don't know if you can see anything there, but there'll be a few boats moored up. A very popular spot. This is a little day hire narrow boat. I'm not sure what they're doing. They've either run aground or they're waiting for me to go through. Um, I'll go through carefully all the same. Trying not to squash the swan as I do so, of course. Quite risky that. The swan was okay, of course. As you can see, there's really good mooring along here, lots of metal piling and a beautiful view out across the floodplain. It's a really nice place to stop. The trouble is I don't tend to stop here because of the cats. It's far too open for them and a lot of people walk their dogs in this field and they just let them loose off the lead. And if there's no cover for the cats, it's far too dangerous. So yeah, this is a place I've stopped in the past, but whilst I've got moggies, uh, it's not safe for me to stop. At the end of this straight bit there's a fairly sharp bend and nine times out of ten you'll meet a boat coming the other way if you're traveling in the summer that is and uh, they'll often be going pretty fast it's often very windy on this corner so be careful when you go around here i've sped it up a bit you can see it's quite a long very sort of sharp bend and uh, i didn't meet a boat this time but normally i do
again it's very isolated down here to the left of this bridge there's a little lane that goes on uphill for at least half a mile uh, it takes you up to a road which is at the top of the village of Somerton nothing up there um, but you know that's the nearest road access you have Another good but very isolated mooring spot along here. It's not as good as it used to be. This hedge to the right used to be very low and you could look out over it, over the uh, the Cherwell Valley, the floodplain, the River Cherwell. It's really quite a scenic place. Uh, but now the, the farmers these days are just letting hedges grow up really tall. And so you're just boating down a corridor a lot of the time. You, you can't really take in the views. Um, this, this is all metal piling along here, as you can see it's quite overgrown. And we're just approaching Hayford Common Lock. Now one of the boats I met earlier said that there was dredging ahead. It didn't say where. I knew that there was dredging. I didn't know quite where it was, but it turned out to be right at the lock itself. Um, so, I had well, I was planning to go through the lock and moor down below it. Um, but when I realised that they were pretty busy, I decided to reverse back and just moor up, up here.
that's it for this little trip. I decided I moved on the next day. It was all clear then. So thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned if you want to see the cats. I'll see you next time.